Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is the daily news for November 2nd, 2020. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you that creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful, or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment and share these videos someone may be enlightened by them also to my subscribers welcome back and to any new subscribers welcome to the channel i'm so glad you're here you are the backbone to this channel and i greatly appreciate you <clears throat> so yes the daily news for november 2nd 2020 um i did want to say that I will be taking a little break from the channel um, to recharge. Yes. Um, I'll probably do the daily news up until um, the last day of the retrograde, which is the um, November 3rd, but I'll be putting out a November 4th video, right? Because I do them a day in advance. Well, at my time, right? <clears throat> So, uh, just taking a little break for recharge, uh, recharge from, you know, the social media. I got to do it, uh, come back a little more refreshed and energized, ready for more readings, right? So just wanted to fill you guys in on that. I'll probably slip in a, uh, end of the month, uh, Zodiac slash love, uh, reading. Okay. Uh, and that'll come, that'll be, uh, coming in, in the future. Okay. All right, so these cards have been pre-shuffled, and I'm going to go ahead and make that extra shuffle just for the general energy, okay? General energy of the daily news for November uh, 2nd, 2020 is, all right. Eight of Swords, okay? So somebody may be feeling trapped, okay? Maybe feeling a little stuck, unable to make a decision, unable to move. Um, but, you know, this usually represents somebody who is, you know, trapped when it comes to their thoughts, right? Constantly, you know, should I do it? Should I not do it? You know, what do I need to do? <clears throat> And, and it appears that somebody needs to, you know, <laughs> you know, you see these eight of swords here, you see this lady here, she's looking in the mirror, she doesn't, you know, this is what's in the mirror, you know, so a lot of us get stuck in our head with things, and um, possibly needing, you know, a break from something, whatever, you know what I'm saying, kind of like me, right? kind of taken off to recharge not that i'm feeling trapped but you know everybody's different you know so what we got here for the daily news right okay let's see what this is all right we have judgment and then we have the emperor okay and then we have the two of pentacles in the reverse okay that's not bad <clears throat> At the bottom of the deck, we have the four of coins, right? So this is representing somebody who's holding something close to their chest, holding on to something, their money, uh, a memory, uh, a feeling, whatever, right? Holding on to something. And, and they are holding on tightly because it makes them feel a certain type of way, you know, some sort of balance within themselves. But it's also something that they don't really reveal to anybody. So, you know, it appears here that Somebody is feeling trapped or, or, or stuck in a situation where judgment will be had over an individual. And this individual is the emperor, okay? And this person, you know, he's got all the qualities of all the kings. He has been through it all, right? Uh, this person uh, maybe had an issue in the past with, past with multitasking or juggling, doing too much, extra work, whatever. Um, but it seems that this person has turned that around, right? Uh, maybe slowing down on that or cutting things out, right? Um, you know, there comes a time when you're doing too much and, you know, we all age, right? And sometimes we just want to slow down and relax, right? Take a load off. 
And so maybe somebody is doing something like that. I don't know. <clears throat> but let's find out why is this judgment card here, right? Why is this judgment card here? Why? Okay, well, we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. And this is somebody who bring who who doesn't bring any new any truth, right? They kind of come in and they don't really they're not 100% honest with what they're saying, right? They're it could be a person coming in and saying some stuff but trying to avoid the truth could be is what I'm feeling. I don't I don't know because there's some judgment to be had here. So somebody's trying to manipulate possibly their words to make it seem like what they were doing was not bad or I don't know and and the person the the energy they might be in is this king of wands very passionate you know passionate individual you know now <clears throat> the king of wands is, in this deck is also um, the magician so this person is a very skilled um, communicator when it comes to avoiding you know the story the truth or, or something like that is what i'm getting it's so weird so yeah this is what's you know you know what i'm saying so ooh, what's this one mm. they plan on having victory in regards to the situation with whatever they're gonna say right like they they have something planned out i feel like you know like they they've been planning something they're gonna they're not going to really they're gonna work their way around the truth uh, maybe confuse you know somebody i don't know something like that because they know that this judgment is coming so they're in the energy of manipulating the truth or, or manipulating the a lie or i i don't know you guys who is this emperor i mean is it this guy who's who's in that energy i don't you know why is this emperor here? Why is this? Okay. First, we have the Ace of Cups, which it means that this person wants to start something brand new and fresh in regards to, to love or emotions or something like that, right? What? With the Queen of Pentacles. But see, the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, not feeling too well, are we? <laughs> you know, uh, Queen of Pentacles is... It's kind of, you know, maybe they're not getting along. Maybe she's uh, maybe off balance right now, trying to find her balance again. All right. Oh, and look, and, and it's, it's funny because I looked over at this two of pentacles, you know, and you have the two pentacles there, right? And then I looked at the... <laughs> The queen of pentacles and look she's got two pentacles there and it kind of reminded me of the juggling you know but she's in the reverse so she maybe she's not juggling either aside from him no, i don't know how does that resonate with you but if that doesn't resonate i also see you know the queen of pentacles in the reverse is not a very um, generous person, not very giving, maybe not like she used to be, maybe something has happened to make her this way, you know, could be something like that. Eight of Pentacles, so she works on herself, right? She works on her craft, her, her business, whatever she's doing, you know, whatever she does to better herself, right? Because she knows that she's not balanced, right? She knows that she's not balanced. Now, it could also be that this emperor is trying to work something out with this imbalanced person. This is the sun card, right? The nine of uh, wands. So it appears that this situation between these two have really been a battle between these two. These two have, uh, I don't know, they've been through some things, you know, they've been through uh, situations, they've, um, they, they've crashed and burned many times, but they still seem to, you know, I'm going to put this back.
he may actually think if he brings um, passion into her environment that that might be the success here but I you know what I don't think so I don't I don't think so because if she's in the reverse remember so she's not being very generous and that could be in the department of passion too you know look <laughs> the bottom of the deck these two are lovers you know what I'm saying so I don't know My dog is just doing too much right now. <laughs> he is trying to drag his dog's bed out the back door to the backyard. You know, I just, it's okay. Let him enjoy, right? <laughs> Why is this two of pentacles here? No more multitasking, no more juggling. What's going on here with this two of pentacles? <clears throat> There it is again, the Two of Pentacles. But it's in the upright this time. So somebody here, maybe, you know, you know, one, sometimes they're busy, sometimes they're not. You know, so this could actually be that at this present time, this uh, juggling doesn't happen because maybe the business slows down for this emperor, right? And then when business picks up, the juggling begins again. I'm feeling that this person may, may work a lot. This person may work a lot, right? And he does it on his own private whatever. Like he doesn't really discuss work and home. He's not, you know. And I do see the competition for his job possibly is, is uh, you know, there's a lot. There's a lot of competition. So, you know... Sometimes this person has to work a lot, you know, that's, I mean, you know, that's what I'm feeling here. Uh, somebody may have to work extra over time, whatever, right? Um, this person, you know, is doing this possibly to pull themselves uh, out of the cold, out of uh, the uh, uh, state of loss, financial loss, you know, maybe uh, in the past they were in this situation right and they started the you know they had to pick up the pace maybe with work you know I'm, I'm getting work right here i'm not getting like juggling people or or relation i'm getting like somebody is just works a lot and um and you know sometimes they work a lot and sometimes they don't so this is why i see that this is a, a counteracting two cards right and so this person, uh, usually, you know, working a lot, this definitely pulled them out of a situation or an energy of loss, loss of finances, loss of, you know, just a lack, period, right? Because the Five of Pentacles is being thrown out in the cold, left out in the cold, loss of money, finances, material items, whatever, right? But this person pulled themselves out, right? <clears throat> but at this present time now, this person may be on a little break from all this extra work because maybe I don't know the season or I was just a slow time. I don't know. But there is that time that comes for this person, right? So, okay, that was a nice little confirmation there. <laughs> so, you know, their time is up and down. This is what I'm feeling about this, okay? Um, I do feel here, look, what kind of sucks is there's uh, the Ten of Swords. So this person... Whoever this resonates with has been backstabbed in whatever situation. It could be in regards to the money or the work that they were doing. They got backstabbed, possibly money taken from them. Oh, okay. So it was also could have been in a, a relationship. Somebody that they were in a relationship with, a love partner, uh, backstabbed this person and deceived them. Um, they were collaborating together. We have the King of Cups here tried to take a leap of faith, made a choice to do that because they had maybe many options, right? And one of those options was that son, right? Devil involvement, you see that? Now can't sleep, tripping out, all upset. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Ups and downs, right? <laughs> um, not, not funny, not the Ten of Swords, not funny, I know, yeah. But, you know. So let's go ahead and get these up 
And let's see what else comes out here. All right, let me just fix it real quick. another little quick shuffly poo right so yeah I just I got up this morning I was like wow you know and and I noticed also today you guys it's 11 1 right 1 1 1 so you know there's a lot of things going on today there's a lot of meaning for today an enlightening day right and I got up this morning and I just I felt rejuvenated and but I felt like you know I've been really neglecting you know, my personal time, my me time, my time with my dog, right? I used to be going on nature hikes like every day and everything, and it kind of slowed down, and, and I was putting more focus on the tarot uh, channel, but it's time to take a break, right? Because I want to be able to be refreshed, you know? Uh, and that's, you know, we all, all of our crystals need recharging, right? It's, it's time for my crystals to get recharged, you guys, okay? So, <clears throat> let's get those next three cards. Let's get those next three cards for the daily news. Whoops. What is this? Ace of Cups, Two of Wands. We need one more card. One more card, please. Okay. Okay. So, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Two of Cups. You see, look. So somebody is really caught up in their head about a situation with another individual that they have shared emotions with. They are, you know, really overly thinking something, you know, with somebody. Somebody that they juggled, okay? Um, this person knows it will be judged for what they did, but they want to bring in a cup, though. They really, they want to bring in a cup. It might be this emperor um he wants yeah look he wants to talk about an equal give and take with somebody that's very nice right i mean you know start slow if you if you don't know them if this is a new person coming in your life or or if it's somebody from the past to take it slow again you know because if it's from the past you got to read you got to relearn each other. You got to re-know each other again, right? Especially if it's been many months or years. You have to, it's not like you can just pick up where you left off. You know? It's like you got to start all over from square one. So don't rush that either. You know, if it, this is going to happen for you. Um, let's go ahead and find out what else is going on here. Okay. Besides that, Ten of Swords, it doesn't seem too drastic right now, <laughs> right? Ten of that was just at the bottom of the deck, you guys, you know. Maybe that is something that has already passed, you know, it has already passed, or somebody has already, you know. Anyhow, we have the Three of uh, Wands right here, right? And this goes here. Somebody's waiting to bring in that cup, right? Maybe they're waiting to figure out how they're going to bring in that cup, right? Because of this judgment situation, right? Yep, they're going to come in with some truth, honesty. And uh, low-key, you know, this person, you know, may be a player energy, though. You know what I'm saying? This is a thing. Yes, he is the king of swords. Yes, he is the emperor, because in this deck, this is the emperor, right? But he's still in that player mentality. He still wants to just play around. That's why I'm saying, you know, take it slow. You know, if this is somebody from from the past, <clears throat> you got to relearn them again. You got to refriend them again because people change over time. You know, it's like starting from square one, right? No matter what you've been through. Why is this two of wands here? Okay, so we got that five of pentacles in the reverse again. That's good, right? Still keeping still keeping up with it, right? Um this person wants to talk about, you know, you know how they were feeling left out in the cold, you know? And how they're going to be they're going to come in real defensive, you know, like trying to explain their case or their side of, of the story or you know, their truth. Right, and this is the emperor doing this. The emperor is going to be coming in explaining this stuff to whoever, right? To I don't know who, 
you, you might be the emperor, so another person watching, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But this emperor is going to be very defensive about nine of cups energy, wish fulfillment, wanting wish fulfillment, right? Doesn't want to be left out in the cold anymore, no, he's got out of it, he snapped out of that, and he doesn't want that anymore, he wants wish fulfillment, but you know... <clears throat> And I've told you guys a lot of times that this Nine of Cups, this wish fulfillment can be selfishness and excess. And this is why I say, you know, take it easy, take it slow. Don't try to get all crazy, uh, you know, with this person because, you know, find out what they're all about first, you know, because people tend to get just rush into stuff too quick. I mean, I'm not going to say I never have done that, but, you know, this time around, <laughs> I'm saying, you know, take it easy and, and, you know, do it like that. You know, you do whatever you want. This is a, just a suggestion, you know. So now we got this six of coins here, right? Somebody doesn't want to juggle, but they want equal give and take. These are two good qualities, right? <laughs> Somebody who doesn't juggle, but they want equal give and take. Yeah, that's a good quality to have. Shit. Uh, yeah. So what else we got for those two? Let me get one more, please. There we go. Let's see. One, two, three. Okay, so we have this five of cups, right? So, so this person is going to come in and say they want, want this, right? Because they are very sad over the loss of this relationship, right? They're coming in to speak some truth right here. Um, the only thing is they won't be speaking any like lovey-dovey emotional stuff. So this person uh, is going to just be, maybe this person is really bad at the emotional stuff. This person likes to talk, the money stuff to them is how much I love you, you know, like <laughs> to be a team or whatever. That's to them. They don't know how maybe to message, you know. <laughs> they don't know how to speak the love language very well, maybe, you know? Um, I don't know. <laughs> but they are going to come in with an offer, see? Somebody, they want to come in with this offer to somebody. So this could be either a lost opportunity or it can be somebody giving an offer. And like I said, if this person is not good at explaining their emotions very well... That's what they do. They will offer a gift or offer, I will offer equal give and take. I will offer not to juggle. You know, like this kind of thing. Those, those are, those words translated into emotion is I love you and I want to be with you and we can do this together and be in love or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I'm that is so weird. This message, but that's what I'm getting. That's their way of, you know. So, I don't know. What do we have at the bottom? Look, see, they're they're thinking about the options, or they have a lot of options. Maybe, maybe they're newly freed from something. I don't. They're newly freed from this trap, possibly, right? Towards the end of whenever you see this video, they will possibly be coming towards the end of feeling trapped anymore. Um, they have a lot of options. They want to take a new leap of faith into something brand new, though. Brand new. Something that they never really experience, uh, you know. And it's a new type of love, you know. Maybe they were used to a certain type and they found and they found, or they know of somebody who's different than what they're used to, right? And it, ooh, it could actually be somebody that they have deceived or deceived them. Uh, King of Cups. You know, he's emotional, doesn't really show his emotions very much, but he is very loving. Yeah, look, this is a uh, a lover, and he wants to go and create some stability with that person. He's going to be leaving a situation to work on something because they've been back. Oh, my God, you guys, so many. Yeah, let's just end it right there. <laughs> so there's a lot of drama all the time. Drama is happening all the time in the tarot, you guys. <laughs> so, I mean, you know. Um, so this is what's going on so far. Somebody is coming to express their love, but like I said, they're going to do it in their own special way. They're going to be bringing in an offer to somebody. So, 
I don't know who you are in this story, if you're watching it and it resonates, you could be the one they're coming to or you could be the one going to somebody, right? Something like that. <clears throat> but I do see that there's some action going to be taking <laughs> taking place, right? So let's get these up. Let's get some love messages going. See what happens with those, right? Uh, let's see. Get out. Uh, love messages, yeah. Okay, so if you resonate with somebody being judged over something that has happened, right? But bringing in a new message of love to start out a new, you know, relationshipy type thing. We're going to find, oh, see, I didn't even pull out the cards yet. I'm already explaining if it resonates or not. <clears throat> Let me just get these out real quick then. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. And here's the third one. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so if you are what I just said, <laughs> all right? This is your love message. Um, the situation involves some sort of fairness, right? We have fair, we have vulgar. Mm. Somebody might have a really nasty wording, the way they speak. You know, they're vulgar. They could be vulgar. Um, I do see the word gentle here. Uh, there's, a, there's somebody here could be very gentle. Maybe it's a gentle and fair person. The vulgar person could be the other person, <laughs> right? I don't know. Um, we also have uh, made a mistake holding hands. You may have held this person's hand. Uh, I want you. Okay, that's nice. We also have ox, year of the ox, Chinese astrology, right? We also have somebody trying to work on their throat chakra and their um, third eye chakra, you know, trying to get in touch with their intuition on what they should do. And it's funny because we got the purple here. We don't have the blue here, but we do have the red, which means somebody also dealing with um, <clears throat> their stability. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I told you, somebody here is working, you know. Also, uh, if you resonate with this emperor who wants to have a discussion, there's your here's your love message definitely working on his stability also the solar plexus and sacral chakras you know emotions and creativity and intellect and will also i see uh not quite really you know digging deep into it but somebody definitely going to start working on that uh, throat chakra and a little bit of that intuition maybe uh for more prayer more prayer, more speaking to the universe or to spirit or whoever it is they, you know, pray to. Um, somebody here has definitely been broken, all right, sad and broken, feeling terrible right now, right? Now, we also have a snake here that could be Chinese astrology, you're the snake, or you could be dealing with a snake, right? Um, the letters I see here are O, I, E, oh, I didn't tell you the letters of this one, did I? I'm going to do it in a second. I have L I E Q uh, Z A and V. Yeah. And that's first, middle, last initial. So let's jump back this way now. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I didn't notice that I did. I don't know if I did or not, but here they are. It's S O S, okay. E B W F and the number one. I don't know. That S O S may be a message for someone out there. You know, somebody might need help or, you know, they're having shit on shingles. I don't know. <laughs> for dinner. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. Okay, look. We have the Two of Pentacles. So if you're resonating with somebody who is going to be, you know, not going to be working so much right now or multitasking or doing too much right now, but wants to bring some sort of equal give and take to a relationship or a situation, here is your love message. Lovely genius okay those are the two outstanding words here so you could be dealing with someone like that or you could be that mm -hmm. also we have uh aquarius we have the island we have the letter x u y d i a and u and we also have the number eight 
Also, somebody definitely working on that heart chakra halfway there, also with the sacral and solar plexus chakras. All right, and that's, uh, yeah, that's what I have for that, okay? So let's go ahead and see what comes out in the stars real quick. Might as well go with a bang, right? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so let's see what we have. We have a P, a D, we have an M, a V, a J, and then we have a B and an F. So these could be somebody's first, middle, last initials. Let's find out what it says. We have dishonorable. We have cruel. So somebody's been very dishonorable and cruel. And from doing that, they endured a loss, right? Uh, and they did that to the genius. Remember we had genius in here? There it is, genius, right? They did that to someone. They made them believe something, right? And that just pissed them off. Maybe they made them believe they love them. I don't know. But somebody here was being very greedy. So somebody may have um, tried, uh, had convinced somebody into making them believe that, you know, they really love them or they cared for them, something like that, right? And this just really uh, kind of upset someone uh, very much. Uh, yeah, not very nice, right? <laughs> right. So that's the message that I have for you. This is for November 2nd, 2020. Um, if it resonated, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, remember, I'll be taking a little break down here. But, oh, yeah, also, you guys, I have a lot of videos. You know, they're all timeless. So you can go, you know, check the playlist. There's cool stuff in there. Just, you know, go to what, what name or what thing calls out to you. You know, check a date from last year or whatever. Because around this time right now was about exactly the time that I moved into this house. And, you know, Lisa's up. I'm ready to pack it up and go. So this is also another reason why, um, you know, I'm taking a break to, you know, i got to get my stuff together, you guys, right? Yeah, and plus I want to finish up a few projects that I had started too. So, yeah, but don't worry. I'm going to come back and I just need a little time to recharge and get some stuff done. And, um, yeah, that's it. Um, also, remember, keep a true love energy while I'm away, right? Happy, friendly, and loving types. We have nothing to fear because we stay calm and we stay cheerful. Right. I'm Mona. This is Kleiscope's Dreams Tarot. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Bye.